technology power. Um, uh, Huawei is a good example, of course, and other companies like Alibaba and Tencent. And so the perception is that the U.S. is now in a sort of a longer-term struggle with China over some of the key technologies like artificial intelligence, like quantum computing, and like 5G, for example. Frankly, the issue of the entity list, who we can buy from, that's going to hurt Americans. Who we can sell to in the United States, we sell to the 40 rural carriers of, of wireless wireline, wireless service. We don't make very much money from that. And we're talking about helping them build out their 3G and 4G. We don't need to worry about 5G right now. It's, it's to benefit them that we'd be allowed to continue to do business. The certainty is that the $11 billion we spend every year from American companies, that could go away. Look at the UK and, and Germany, for example, two of the US's closest allies, and they're given them the classified information at the highest level. And the US could not give them any evidence of wrongdoing by Huawei. So there are a number of issues that hopefully can be the discussion, but we've got to tamp down the emotions and the discussion and try to talk about facts and start to build trust one step at a time. Now we have an evolving new situation and we have to find a way to have accommodation. We have to find a way to make sure that we can build trust and be, build communication.